Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hi, welcome back. Guys, the world is on fire. It literally seems to be in some areas. Check out this tweet. British Columbia is now reporting 136 wildfires. Nine of them are concerned. There were 70 new fires starting yesterday alone. 70 wow. new ones in one day. And, you know, I was reading comments and, you know, there were the thoughts, uh, you know, is this all just lightning and natural or is there something else going on here? So the BC Wildfire Service says we've already burned through 79,000 hectares this season. And that number is likely going to go up to 100,000 just by the end of the weekend. That's insane. That's like jaw dropping. Yeah, and you know we've we've gotten repeatedly, and we've shared with you guys that when we go into the meditation and when Cindy's channeling, what we're getting is that you know if there was not the artificial flavoring involved, believe me, things would be so much less than what they are. Mm -hmm. It would be so much less, and I'll share more in an upcoming uh, video about that as well um we were talking about Lytton village before because this is where they set that record temp you know it was 121 point something degrees it was wiped out by wildfires amid this record-breaking heat wave so as you could see um you know suffering from the fires as well 486 sudden deaths were reported across the province of british columbia in this heat wave and you had over a thousand people evacuated here. Um, and we are getting news that you know, the potential for significant wildfires is way above normal for a growing share of the U.S. Well, half the resources are already that we have here in the U.S. are already at work fighting fires as we, we're just kind of getting going. And up in Montana, we see crews fighting three small Madison County wildfires prepare for red flag conditions, jump over to California. Firefighters are tackling three major wildfires there. And this season could end up being another record-setting season. As we've been saying, the lava fire north of Mount Shasta has burned 23,849 acres. 27% of the flames are contained by a team of over 1,000 firefighters just right there. You know, wow. so just just think about how many people are needed each season we go into as perhaps we're heading towards another you know, dust bowl. Mm -hmm. Now, that fire, they say, sparked on June 25th after a lightning strike to the north in the Klamath National Forest. The tenant fire has been rapidly growing since Monday afternoon, burning 9,836 9, acres, only six percent containment 500 people are fighting that fire shasta county some 20 miles north of redding salt fire broke out wednesday morning covering 4500 acres in flames destroying at least a dozen homes garages and other outbuildings you know it's it's getting going and then when you look at this map these maps i should say plural uh as it says it's all biblical you know what we've been getting it's not even biblical this is something this is not our first go around and we've shared with you guys too that you know the hopi speak about you know we're going to be emerging into the fifth world well it's more like you know 500th world mm -hmm. is is what we're we're getting is this the cycle of destruction and starting all over is one that i think would boggle minds Look at this. This is these are wildfires or they're fires burning. What's going on over there in Africa? As you know, there's a lot of uh, competition going on between different countries to control that middle portion of Africa, especially it might be a great growing zone as the Sahara will eventually start to get greener and greener. But look at the fires everywhere around. This is Africa. That's insane mm -hmm. fires going on down there. Here we're looking at North and South America. 
you know, we can see South America is battling some serious fires as well. And Europe and Asia. Southeast Asia has got some serious fires going down down there too. And Australia and New Zealand. And then on the other end of things, uh, we have Hurricane Elsa. Maybe she's going to Disney World. Disney World, not Disneyland now. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's and, not good. And uh, how many more buildings are going to collapse in Florida is the question mark. What's really going on here? You know, what, and, and people are divided. I see it in the comments because we'll get people saying sinkholes. And other people are saying, no, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not sinkholes. People are not in, in unison and agreement here as we're looking at the projected path. Currently, hurricane status um, will be probably losing some strength as it goes over Cuba and then emerges out again. But, you know, you can't you can't take any of that for granted, you know, because of the artificial flavoring. You know, it might come over here, tropical storm strength, and then before you know it, it'll be a cat five. We've mm -hmm. seen these crazy things that defy explanation time and time again. So we could see, and let's pray and put our intentions out there uh, that this will be a nothing burger and, you know, wind shear and all, keep it down. Maybe that some of that sand coming over, over from uh, Africa will help to keep it down. Uh, we, we sure need a little help when we have so much artificial flavoring going on. As you see here, this is showing the projected path again. And the other thing too is that this is like the earliest time they've seen uh, a hurricane form in this area too, which is, again, it's just one record after another that far east is unusual so usually the gulf uh, is the warmest you know warms up nicely the gulf is not all that deep in spots and we see a giant sinkhole we've been talking about sinkholes and well everywhere but mexico in particular lately this is in pakistan and it opened up in a market and just the the floor went out under everybody there oh no so you know it's it's wild the changes that we see going on no casualties so that's the good news that's great and we have asteroid 2021 na the fly by earth this is pretty close 0.17 of a lunar distance and this will be on july 3rd will there be any july 4th fireworks mm. Mm. curious yeah, what type of fireworks will we see this mm -hmm. year? 68th known asteroid to fly by Earth with one, within one lunar distance since the start of the year. And luckily, this one's not too big. Uh, they're saying anywhere between five feet and 39 feet. Usually, they're a little bit, a little bit tighter there as far as giving a, the info. And more and more farmland being destroyed this time by hailstorms in Europe. Strong rains, strong winds, and intense hailstorms. This is in Central Europe. Another 163,000 plus acres of crops damaged or destroyed. You know, and you can see, like we were talking about the peach crops, and we're talking about the banana crops. It, it's just one thing after another. You'd almost get the feeling like uh, doing quotation marks with the fingers, guys. Uh, God, some will say God is mad at us. This is just all our fault. This is our karmic retribution. Well, again, I think that the average person, if given the opportunity to do things to heal the planet, I think they would. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I do think there's a natural tendency to be a little bit lazy. Like I know in some places that we've lived, um, you know, you have to separate everything. You might get fined if you, you know, put something that's recyclable in with the garbage. And then other places, there's no recycling going on at all. So every place is a little different. But I think people would do the things that they could to help the environment. And if they, if they were able to, it's, again, 
it creates cynicism when you'll hear things about, you know, help with this, help with that, it, you know. And then at the same time, we see these corporations with their toxic runoff just dumping poisons, mm -hmm. you know. And we have to question, too. And I was looking at, uh, I've been looking at labels because check labels, guys, check labels. The label might have been showing that it was a product that you wouldn't have had a problem with uh, before, but now all of a sudden it's changed. Because I've noticed that with a couple of products recently that I used to buy certain brands because you know I, I knew there was no uh, artificial colors, dyes, flavorings. I knew there was no MSG, no carrageenan, you know, things like that. And then all of a sudden, oh, there they are in there. Wait, wait, I, I can't buy this brand anymore. Things are changing. And why are they always, you know, adding all these things that are toxic to our foods and everything else that we use all day long? You know, look at like your shampoos. What's in your shampoo that you're letting absorb into your skin? How about your deodorant? You know, how much aluminum is there? Um, obviously everybody knows fluoride and toothpaste, but yet how many of you guys are still using fluoride toothpastes? And maybe you felt like I did. I, I had switched to Tom's and then all of a sudden Tom's is making fluoride and non-fluoride mm -hmm. toothpastes. And you got to look closer. You know, we, Cindy got some healthy stuff off of the net that was like recommended. And then we look and there's that fluoride word. Mm -hmm. All right, well, straighten the garbage. Yep. You know, it's 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 a never-ending battle. So we see a rare summer cold front means a chilly 4th of July for Texas. And I didn't notice that in the forecast, but I'll take a look again. But again, is is 80-something degrees chilly for Texas in mm -hmm. 4th of July? Perhaps. As the latest USDA crop figures sound the alarm bells and see prices explode further higher. Well, you know, the food prices and hyperinflation, we know it, it's it's going in that one direction pretty much only, as we've talked about this all too perfect uh, storm, all coming together. Oh, and by the way, there's a small CME that should be impacting tomorrow. And I'd be curious to see if, if a lot of you guys I've noticed, too, when we get these CMEs, it makes me a little drowsy. Some people say that they feel like they get amped up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we have some friends that just really screws up their whole system, so I keep an eye on them. Yes, most definitely. Mm -hmm. And Etna is still going. Powerful, proximal, explosive eruption. And will Pele be joining Etna? And will there be a fulfillment of some of Casey's prophecies? Perhaps. Perhaps. So I wanted to share with you guys 10 top foods rich in antioxidants. And antioxidants are substances that remove harmful free radicals from the body. And antioxidants can be found in many foods, fruits, and veggies. So a diet based around antioxidant-rich foods would be wise. But there again, if you're going to eat something that's not organic and say has been sprayed with Roundup, is that really helping you at all? As it's something else that you need to detoxify from your body in the first place. And that's why we just bite the bullet. Mm -hmm. And we'll buy less food, but better food. And that's really the key. And when you get down to it, in this society still, most people, you know, losing a few hundred calories a day for most people is not really a big deal. Plus our body will compensate and change. So looking at these foods, broccoli is up there at the top of the list. Very, very cancer uh, fighting and tremendous fiber. Um, it's, it's, it's just an amazing superfood, has properties allow it to combat certain enema uh, anemias and prevent different types of cancer that women face like breast, ovary, and cervix cancer. Can also reduce blood pressure protecting the heart. Berries, berries, berries. But now recognize, and we were talking to um, Amanda and today, and she was 
talking about berries, as well as one other thing that we're going to mention uh, in the next little blurb there. Berries are so, so good for us, but take like strawberries. Strawberries one of the dirty dozen. And so there's certain, there's certain foods that you could get away with not eating organic. And some of it's kind of simple. Um, you know, anything that has a big, thick skin, like a banana, it, it's not going to be as bad uh, as it would be with something that's going to be getting sprayed directly and, and absorbing it in directly into what you're going to end up consuming. And so berries, when it comes to berries, um, I tend to buy organic only. I, I've seen some people say you could get by with blueberries, but never with strawberries. Uh, again, I would just tend to buy organic wherever possible. Berries, uh, they give the body countless antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. And this is something that's nutritionally dense and not necessarily calorically dense. And that is a good thing as well. And you can juice berries as well. So, and you could even juice broccoli mm -hmm. or cabbage. And I do juice red cabbage on a regular basis. Um, one of our dear friends, uh, Cheryl, ha is fighting cancer right now. And so they have her on a, um, a low residue diet, so to speak. So juicing, 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 we're going to do a lot more going into that, uh, is so beneficial. And when you look at things like cabbage and broccoli, they're very, very uh, cancer fighting. And if you are on a low residue diet, then you're not going to really be eating stuff that's so loaded and so bulky. But you can juice them at the same time and still get benefits. Whole grains, yeah, whole grains. Now, again, uh, there's been a resurgence of what they call the ancient grains, like amaranth, for instance, and spelt. And uh, wonderful. We, we do have a bunch of cereals. I was amazed to see a, a sale the other day where you could buy five of this one brand that is organic and, mm -hmm. and good stuff for 10 bucks. So, you know, that was great. I Actually, I can't remember, even in years past, being able to buy good-sized boxes of organic cereals for two bucks each, and ancient grains as well. Tomatoes, carrots, and we juice a ton of carrots. Mm -hmm. Carrots are wonderful, and, and the juice of carrots tastes pretty pleasant. Um, so typically, um, carrots I had one juice I was using for years in the morning, uh, which included carrots, and, and I would add grapefruit, fresh ginger, celery, um, red cabbage, and I got very, very used to that one and liked it. Green tea, green tea also, high on the list. Spinach, and you can also juice spinach. Garlic, we use a ton of it, and I just made a vegetarian chili with tons mm -hmm. and tons of garlic in it. Uh, and also cilantro, and cilantro is a heavy metal detoxifier. So I, I used an entire head of cilantro in it. Moringa, which we did get. We bought ourselves a moringa tree. Yay. Yes, which we're going to have to put on the south-facing wall of the cave, quote-unquote. Um, and that should help it in this climate, which is... A climate in which we're probably going to have to shield it a little bit, but I have plans for that. And red grapes. Oh, yes, red grapes. So these are very, very high antioxidant foods, which can help eliminate free radicals. So when we were talking to Amanda today, she was drinking some love tonic. This is from Medicinal Foods, and she had said, I saw that you guys are teaming with medicinal foods. Yeah, I discovered them like three years ago, and I love them. Uh, you know, so that was really cool. Uh, you know, they're, they're just great people, and these are really good products that can definitely help us in our fight against all the crap that's out there. Really good quality. Good trusted materials go into this, and, and it's just, you know, it's a breath of fresh air, really. It is. This is a daily herbal tonic to nourish the feminine energy. Sorry, guys, we'll cover other things. As Chinese herbs traditionally used to relieve menstrual cramps. As herbs used for building blood in upright qi while increasing female elixirs. 
rich blend of herbs used to enhance female hormonal balance, has Chinese herbs used to enhance skin, air, hair, and beauty. And the herbs are stone ground into a delicious smooth powder ready for culinary creations. And so this is kind of cool. It, it's, it's formulated to gently increase feminine yin energy. By building yin jing rather than yang jing, women can better balance and regulate female hormones and sexual energies, which can lead to a harmonious state of being and enhanced female libido. So, you know, you could also add this to, obviously, smoothies, but teas and other recipes as well. So pretty cool. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And there's a link here to our Evolutionary Energy Arts website with medicinal foods. And it does go to support the channel. So we want to thank you guys for your support on both channels. Make sure you subscribe to both. Thumbs up if you found this informative. And share, share, share. Keep waking people up. We have to wake up as many as possible. As always, guys, God bless and namaste. Namaste.